Hello and welcome back to Conan Exiles. Now I've done a little bit of uh, rearranging, as you can see I've got nice armour on. It's been a few days since the last video was recorded. Um, a lot's happened since then, sadly, and we have finally moved to the Savannah, as me and Deck discovered. Now, the discovery alone was quite fun, but um, we've been doing some nice, nice working here. Um, I have to admit, we've got a bit of a lift situation as well, because we're lazy. But, I will use this video just to show you guys a bit of a tour more than anything else and I will admit all of this base most of it is uh, deck it's hard work at designing um, some of it is mine but we're gonna have a look at what we've got going on so firstly we look at the gates so we've got one gate here which we built to stop uh, purges and things coming through and also there's a tiger on the other side and only though there is a tiger that spawns in here which has killed half the guards because after a while they seem to die um, but they just keep fighting it on and on and on we have our little archer wall which we have some uh, Nordicheim archer freeze uh, this is someone from the volcano which is Bouncy's uh, little guard we did have Freya and a few others that I got but they seem to have died somehow we're not sure where they went um, I left into Savannah which I don't think we've actually ever used Vapnir and Dina Again, found in the Nordheim area, which uh, is just above us in zone wise. So, showing zone wise when the map wants to load. Um, so, our original base was located down here in G4, and we are now up here in G8. So, final area is just this massive bit of. Uh, area here, with the Swagger Rock in the middle, which is Pride Rock, no one can deny it. Um, Deck's been doing a little something up here, you see where Bouncy and he are, Mordred and Nisala, so the future looks bright and Bouncy not there, and I've been working on something over here in B, uh, B8, because we need spots because of where the other stuff are keeping around. Right, but back to the tour. So. We've got two slavers wheels, which we have people on, because uh, we keep getting like Nordheim people attacking us and it's good to put them into slaves and the ones we don't need or are useless on stats we get rid of or we just put them to mundane tasks. Left hand side we've got our wall, again defending to make sure that nothing could come through. Got some nice gear on these guys, good way of defence, especially with the camp over there. It's a lot of fun. So, looking at the main entrance, so admittedly this second wheel wasn't originally here, we have added it because we needed more space for people we captured. But the main entrance we have is down here, nice little stairway in, um, and our, oh there's a little tiger cup. The Empyrean headquarters, intruders beware. Yeah, what well, intruders, <laughs> it's our own private server, but yeah. Nice couple of drawbridges in to this main one. If you let me jump up, and we have our main entrance. now. We have a little stable area over here that I made, which currently has one horse in it, the other three are elsewhere, because they're super busy, but going up here. So, first of all, we have a lift, which takes us up, if the lift wants to work. There we are, so, mini lift, up into the first floor. Now, we have a couple of archers defending, and we have a very, very nice view. Now, this is a bedroom, which is mine. You can see it's got very, very little in it because I'm not into decorating and things really when it comes to bedrooms. I'm never really here. But it's a nice size, we've got the building work with it. And also, you know, nice views with everyone guarding. And the archer do shoot when stuff comes close enough. So that's something to think about. Right, so I'm just going to skip down. So, we have our open area, we have a little stall of things going on. A dining room table, a dancer down the end. And we have our cook, with a fridge and a press near it as well. This side we also have a cook with a freezer, which is what we need. Don't worry about that over there, I'll show you that in a minute. Then we go upstairs, we're in Nisala Dexrum. Uh, Dexrum's probably the nicest, because he built it, he put a lot of work into it. You can see it's got a lot in it, it's got wardrobes and everything. He really likes interior design. Um, and we've got a little chair outside which he has sat on numerous times to look at the, uh, oh, isn't Dennis God, to watch the sunset. And I usually sit on the one down there as well. So, that is 
Nissel is from Dunn. Oh, has he got any goodies worth stealing? Um, if you watch the video deck, you know where to find them. If not, I'm keeping them. Now I've got one of them. Uh, more designer stuff. Um, okay, no, nothing worth taking. We go back downstairs. Okay, we've got our dance on the left. And we've got our vanity mirror. Our blacksmith and dismantling table down the end. Did I fill in the cave? We've got our crafting tables here as well. Artisan tables. We've got our two furnaces. Very good furnaces these. Been using a lot. And uh, in the chest we've got, you know, raw metals and bars. And we've got a lot of obsidian in here. It's our main target at the moment. We've got our uh, gravity and armors bench. Mixed troops. Um, we make epic armor. We've also got our tinker's bench. So now we've got the improved armor's bench because something's a bit weird and casting. Now when it comes to casting, I don't know, I leave that to the others. I'm not, I'm new to the game, I'm not that involved. But we have this little area out here which, say, me and Deck put stuff down originally and we, you know, altered when we needed to. So this area to the left, we added to, but I'll show that one in a minute. This is part of the original structure. So, originally it only went forward and to the right. We extended it because we got better things and we needed it for the dyer's bench. Our fire cauldron, which it's insane, but not as insane as this little bad boy here, which is the alchemist bench. We've just got loads of chests running outside things, and my rhino defending things because the rhinos are good. Apparently, little tiger cub keeps making his way around, and that brings us back out to the entrance bit. So you can see this tiger cub gets around a bit. So around here on the left, we extended out. Say we deck did, um, and we put carpenters tables down. So we've got a nice little carpentry area on this little ledge. Perfect, perfect location this was like right under the mountains, nice views. Uh, Bouncy did make an attempt in the background as you can see at home, he gave up with it because it was too fiddly to work and he's not really into the interior design and modelling. He was happy with that. I will show you his thing, <laughs> what he did in the end eventually. Um, but around here we have our vault, which I will quickly show, which we put in a whole different cave because it is massive and when I say massive I mean massive. So we've got a couple of legendary things in here. Um, Ooh, a lot of bows. We've been getting a lot of bows. Love the brutal bastard and a few others. We did have we have a few others that are on our um, followers at the moment, and three of them have we've lost because one disappeared out of my backpack somehow. We're not sure where. And two of them have gone into lava because um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so as we go on to the lift upstairs, our <laughs> about the lava. So we had a we had a hero that you can find through the purges called Janos. Janos. And we had three of them. Janos the first died in battle. Janos the second died in lava. And Janos the three died in lava. But Janos the three was called Janos the third, the unmelted. And he died saving us as we were making our way back from the uh, forge. Or our attempt to get there. We're not sure how he died, he just apparently died. Um, but each time these have died they've had legendary weapons on them. So we're running a little bit low, which is fine because I believe that our next objective while we look to make obsidian is to go farming. So we're going to be hitting a lot more of the dungeons up, a lot more of the creatures. So I'll be getting a video out of loads of the bosses and where we are with them, see if that helps in any way. Um, I mean, there's a couple already that are out. Um, yep, statues loading in. This is my area. There's a lot of stuff that was here that's now gone because I have moved over to said to B8. So, there was a furnace, there was a, f a couple of uh, compost heaps and things here, a cook, and another uh, bench. So, we've got an animal pen. Basically just, you know, normal stuff with animals. Keep them happy. So we need. And, grab some water. This is my design. So again, we've got another slaver's wall up here because um, as I've discovered as we've built up here they started to attack up here and we didn't have any way to defend so we decided to add a slaver's will onto this to help with the situation because um, you can't really drag them down so Bouncy's location is up there up there's another pen because it's really awkward to put down in certain areas so we built up to it which I destroyed most of the way up because we don't need it anymore and it since then stopped spawning here anyway Hopefully, because this area looks nice and I'd rather not lose it. As you can see, 
put quite a bit of effort into this thing. But you know, you, you get in what you get out. We've still got a little fishing operation up here. But that's uh, not here nor there these days. I've got something better to show you in a in a future video. If uh, if anyone's interested anyway. <laughs> I did have a look at a few other people's gaffs um, that they built. And uh, yeah, some people put a lot of insane work into this. And uh, it's quite nice to see actually. Uh, to get to bounces, you there's no stairs in the ladder you have to climb. He makes you climb. But we have Bouncy's little home. Now he usually climbs up this bit here, but because obviously where I climbed up the other way. So you've got a banner on the way up, a couple of things on the way to mark his territory. You've got a nice undead monstrosity. Give us a kiss. We've got another one over here, and Bouncy has a thing for dancers. I'm not really sure why, but he does. So yeah, he's got more dancers. He's got a nice little king. You should really have some underwear on. Got another fighter, and he's got his priest, and he's got another fighter over there. Um, and <laughs> this is a running oh, nice little jaguar. It's alive as well. Wow. This is a little Jake from the first uh, town. Put a sign up because we started the game without him because he was meant to join us, but he was away with his family for years. So we put a sign up saying "Missing Bouncy, please ask his mum." And uh, I put a sign up here afterwards saying Bouncy found tell his mum. <laughs> so he's uh, he found that hilarious. He's got his nice little bed over here with a few things and uh, an undead jaguar and a little skull as well. So this is our savannah cliff base with a few things going on. It's a very good zone by the way. Um, lots of woodland in the Nordheim area, a lot of iron not far. A lot of all round farming we do here. Even in the new bases we have come back here. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the tour, and I'll see you for the next one. Ciao.